I just thought I'd quickly pop in at the start of this vlog because I know that things are going up a bit delayed. So the vlogs that you're seeing are actually from over a week ago and this one was actually filmed on the 9th of December. So pre knowing about tier two, tier two, tier three. We had no idea about tier three at this point. It wasn't a thing that anyone had thought was happening. And obviously now we're back in tier three. So that's why I talk about going to the Ivy for dinner and I'm kind of talking about different COVID things because obviously tier three wasn't a thing then. So just before I get into the video I wanted to mention, I don't want you guys to think I'm breaking rules or something because I'm not, but yeah, hope you enjoy this video. Good afternoon guys and welcome to another day of Vlogmas. I'm starting the vlog a little bit late today because I woke up and tanned and everything. I had to rush over to the central, had to rush to central London to get my Botox done, which is something I do all the time. I'll leave a thing down below about my experience and why I do it and stuff because please don't judge me. But um, yeah, I'm back now and an exciting delivery is just turning up. So I thought I'd show you. I'm gonna see if I can like put it on the bed and like film. Hello. Hello, how are you doing? All right. Good, thank you. Good. On bike for you. Perfect, thank okay. you. Okay, no worries. Oh, it's a goodie bag there. Oh, amazing. That is like a... Okay, so that was basically a delivery of a bike. So I'm actually working with a company called Buzzbike on some Instagram stuff at the moment. And the whole concept of their brand is that it's like a bike lending service. So you can lend a bike for as long or as little as you want. Um, I think there is a minimum time, I'll put it on the screen if there is, but you can basically just rent out a bike, use it and then return it. So you don't have to fully commit to like buying a bike and then obviously selling it at the end when you don't want it anymore. I think it's really handy. Um, I think it's handy if you are someone who wants to get a bike but doesn't know if you'll use it enough. It's also handy if you can't commit to having a bike long term and it's just a great way to get around the city for one because I like to explore London by foot a lot and I think bike's just an easier way to get around but also like quicker <laughs> and also it's good for exercise so I'm really excited this is what it looks like it's actually really pretty it's pink and grey I'm loving it the pink is not showing up properly on camera but this is like a really nice like fuchsia pink and then they actually have a lock attached to it which is really handy and then the key is just attached here so I can pull that off and then obviously use the key to lock it stays on the bike all the time and it's just really cute and they actually asked for my height as well so they could adjust the seat so I don't know if you can see in the mirror but it's like the perfect height for me which is really handy but I'm really excited to get going and using it to be honest. But other than that, like I said, I've just been to an appointment this morning and now I'm kind of just hanging around the house and just doing like little bits and pieces. So I'm actually cooking myself some lunch at the moment and then I'm going to try and edit a couple of videos. I need to get some outfits together for a shoot I'm doing tomorrow with a friend. And I'm actually heading to the Ivy for dinner tonight, which is really exciting. So the Ivy in Victoria has kindly gifted me a meal. So I'm gonna be heading down there later and just enjoying a really nice delicious meal because let me tell you I have missed going out for dinners and I didn't realize how much I went out for dinners until recently but I went out a lot for a lot of food so I'm excited to get back out and just get enjoying like the goodness of eating out again which is such a privilege to be able to do all the time and I'm really grateful that I get to do it. <laughs> In case you ever wondered how I plan my outfits, I thought I'd show you. So I basically take pictures which live in my camera roll. You can't see because it's too bright. I take pictures of like each outfit on my camera roll. So I don't know if you can really see. So I just like lay them all on the floor and shoot them like that. And then basically when they're in my bag, um, in the car, I can kind of see like what goes with what or what I've planned. So rather than being like, okay, well I know I'm putting that coat with those trousers and being like, oh, forgot to put that bag with it. It just means I remember everything. Um, and then to take the pictures, I basically just lay them down on the floor like this. So I put the coat down and then I'm like, just making sure everything goes and making sure like the shoes go and the bag goes and all that kind of stuff. And then I pop it all up here in piles of the outfits and then they go into either an Ikea bag or bag for life or whatever. And then I pop it all in the car, ready to go and ready to shoot. So nice and quick and nice and easy and like the most no fuss thing ever because uh, it uh, shooting gets stressful. I love it so much and I love my job so much but planning outfits can sometimes be so stressful especially when you've got to try and like fit everything into a suitcase which is partially why I now use my car because then I know I can just bung it all in and it's done. So I'm going to get all of this packed up and get myself another coffee I think because I'm really craving a coffee and then I can't do my makeup till six so... <laughs> I'm basically holding fire and just staying makeup free for the entire day. I might actually put some under eye patches on. I'm gonna do that now. 
I might actually put some under eye patches on because I get really dark circles under my eyes. So I think I might just do that and then my eyes look really nice for date night tonight because we all want to look good for date night. I'm going to the Ivy, very fancy. I'm getting dressed up for the first time since like post lockdown life. So I'm very, very excited to just go out and like be in a normal, well, normal-ish environment. I feel like when you're at a restaurant or something, it's a little bit more normal because you can take your mask off to eat but obviously it's still really abnormal in every sense of the word. It's just that it's nice that you can sit down and eat and not have to worry about having to have a mask on or whatever. That's like the only slice of normality I feel like there is, but I'm still so wary. Like when it comes to all things COVID, I'm still so wary. These are actually really good. These are the e.l.f. de-puffy ones. I'll leave them linked down below, but they're so good for getting rid of dark circles and just making your under eyes look a bit more alive. I actually took them to Turkey with me and used these every single morning because I found where I was drinking and I wasn't really sleeping as much and I wasn't drinking as much water as I probably should have, my eyes just got really puffy. So this kind of helped to keep that down a little bit. So that's what we've got on my face today. This is all I'm gonna do in terms of skincare for the next couple of hours, but it's a good look. It's a good look. Lauren actually used to laugh at me in Turkey because they'd always end up halfway down my face where it was so hot in the room, but that's a whole other story. <laughs> from the future so i realized this vlog was really short and i'm not really sure what happened to the rest of the clips but i know that i did film more so i don't know what happened there but i really hope you are enjoying watching the vlogmas so far there is going to be several other vlogs coming up because i'm just really enjoying talking to the camera again at the moment and i think that the vlogs are just a lot easier for you guys to watch than like random videos and you seem to be enjoying them a bit more so i think i'm going to keep up with the vlogs and i also want to know I know I ask a lot about this, but I want to know your thoughts on weekly vlogs because I'm really thinking about doing weekly vlogs from the beginning of January again and just like getting back into weekly vlogs and sharing what I'm up to because I just miss doing them and I feel like I've got so used to picking up the camera again that I could definitely get back into them and I just, yeah, what do you fancy? Do you want to do it? Do you want to not? Like I do kind of do the same thing most weeks. It's not really that exciting at the moment, especially with lockdowns, but I don't know, it might be fun. But yeah, let me know what you think about the weekly vlogs returning for good this time or like at least for a prolonged period of time and then I'll actually give you some warning before I end them. But let me know and yeah, I hope you're having a good festive month so far and you're keeping safe and well and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.